Hello guys! Today we have the Rudder SRT73 on the test. Some of you may remember it from our last live stream when we talked about what you want to see on our channel and about digital mobile, mobile radios. So here is the Rudder SRT73 from the Retivis. They were so kind to send us this one to review it on to review it and put it on a bench. So today we will talk about this little radio and we will see what can it perform because this radio is very powerful but very small radio, perfect for mobile operations. So as I said it's very small as you can see on the front it actually really small on the front too but on sides on sides you can also see that the radio is really really small. Look at this. There is a, a big fan on the back, so it doesn't overheat. Uh, G GPS connector, power connector, and the antenna connector, standard UHF connector. And a little speaker, look at that. It's really, really small radio. And you also get the bracket for radio so you can install it. This I'm really talking about it. This radio is really, really small. And this here is everything that you need. This is all the controls on the radio. Also, you have the con controls on the microphone. Look at Mike. It's also not very big microphone. It's also magnetic on the back, so it makes it perfect for mobile operations. I don't know if you can see. Here is magnet. Yes, here is a magnet, and you can also hook it on something. On here, you also have the the menu options. You can progr it's programmable, so you can put the, whatever you want to do. DTMIA keyboard and also PT. Look at that! It's really, really compact microphone for everything that you need. You have on this microphone. So as I said, the every button does the the other option that you program. So all those P1, P2, P3 are programmable. Also those on the microphone, so from P1 to P7, those buttons are programmable. On the first one for me, it's the promiscuous mode. So basically allows you to listen to all traffic on that channel that has the, time, the correct time slot that you have and the color code. P2 is the menu for me and also, also I can see that when you click P2, it goes to the last channel that you transmit on, so that's pretty cool. So here we have contacts, messages, so you can send the messages and you can enter the contacts. It's basically, contacts as its name, you can enter the new contacts, you can see manual level people, so you need to know their ID, so you can send them a call or a message. You can enter the ham contacts, so you can download the the contacts on the internet, the IDs. So every time somebody keys up on the with their their ID on the ham repeater, you can see all the information about them. What's their name? For example, what's their name? Where are they from? And, and all extra info that they enter. And when you go to the to the messages, you can create the message. You can uh, see the messages that you receive that you sent and you can also see the messages that were in drafts. Here we have the catalog, so dial numbers, receipt calls and missed calls, so pretty basic. On this one is a scan option, so you can, you can configure the scan list, scan mode, well it also has the roaming option, that's pretty cool for uh, repeaters that are linked. So you can stay on the same channel basically. Uh, here you select the zone, so I'll only have the one zone. If I have like five, I will have five zones here. So okay. Zones are basically the, I say, a group of channels. On the local side we have, you can select the language between Chinese and English. Key, you can lock the keypad, backlight, you can, so you can configure the brightness and delay time. Also, you can configure if you want the whole lights on the radio to light up. 
you can change the display mode so you can change the display mode, for example the channel frequency for or channel number pulls name or frequency whatever you want you can also access the VFO mode here is the box you will probably not need that uh, here you have the factory reset that we will not do that and parameters here is the talk time so you can program the the time that you can transmit before your radio uh, cuts you up power uh, you can select between I think 20 20 watts and uh, 5 watts if I'm correct I, I'm not sure but I will, I will tell you later here is the slot and repeat so you can select the, the time slot on the receiving side and on the transmitting side here is the encryption you will not need that here on Tonset you have you can select the audio profile so that's pretty good because you can select like how the how the audio will actually be silent or a general K tone message tones you can like select the tones for for private calls and messages to be different group call also alert tones and yes appendix it also has the GPS on this radio if you want to use it you need to use the GPS antenna you connect it here and you can use the GPS and the repeaters uh, FM radio so you can listen to the radio time so you can uh, so you can display the time on the radio let me have a headset plus speaker so you can collect so you can connect the the external one APRS so you can use the analog and DMR APRS that's pretty that's pretty great if you're a ham radio operator because you can like see all the all the stations all the radios on the map who use the APRS so that's pretty cool cool, cool thing in uh, every situations or any mobile operations that so you can see all operators where they are yes and the record function function so you can like record the transmissions but that's you probably need not need that radio id here is the group list for the receiving channel contact now everything just a basic thing you will see here you can edit the channel so on the channel edit you can edit the channel from high power to frequency and color codes everything that you need so that's pretty much it it's very very simple radio let's see how, how is the audio how does it perform actually So that was it. When you want to program the radio by the PC, you need to have this kind of cable. You need to buy it separately. You can buy it on the TV side, of course. It's a couple bucks, so it's not a big deal. You take it, the two pin connector, and you plug it on the left side where you have the, the female connector. You just plug it in. And then you go to the PC. Let's go. 
So here we are in the CPS. If you connected the cable right, make sure that it's all the way in in the connector. You go to the read, and now it's reading from the radio. So you got all the data that's currently inside the radio. This will take a couple of seconds. Now we go to the device info, you will have all these kind of data, you don't need that. You just need to check that you keep the firmware up to date. When you go to the basic options, basic parameters, you can change the radio name, radio ID, you can change all the functions, options that you need or think that you will need. So you can change, for example, the scan mode, the busy channel lookout. So everything i will not explain them because here you have everything that that option does it's pretty pretty great i like them that that the every option says what the each option does so that's pretty great that that did there so just a couple of options you can you can just put them on your own on the menus you can like change the things that you want to be in the menu so you don't have have to have all the things in the menu there are many options you can change the prompt so indicators all indicators if you want here you can change all the buttons so you can program it as i said on your own there are a bunch of options as i said everything is listed here you can change the my game. Also, there is a quick message option, so you can like just press the button and it sends a message. Here is uh, more things for DMR, like uh, you can disable the radio or get your radio disabled. Yes, you can get your the radio disabled if you turn this on. I'll, you, I will suggest that you turn that off. If you don't, of course, if you don't need that. You can uh, you can select the radio check decode, so that's uh, basically uh, to see if the radio is active in your system. There is a bunch of options that you can select. Everything is below. So if you're not sure, it's very very great written, so you will not get something messed up. Here is APRS, so you can uh, use the APRS also analog and digital digital. Here is the encryption, we don't need that. Contacts, here you can enter the contacts, the hand contacts, groups, everything that you need. Alar alarm, probably you will not need that. Scan, here you want to create the scan groups and scan scan channels. The groups for receiving, you, pu you put a bunch of groups here to listen on to some channel. And here is a zone, you create a list of channels, let's say here. It's a channel group basically, and when you access the the zone, you can put the channels that you want in. So when you want to write that the data to the radio, you just click write, and it's simple as that. So pretty pretty basic, easy easy to use radio. Once you program it, that's it. If you ask me. So here I'm done here. I would like to thank the Retivis for sending us this radio, so we can, uh, so we can, so we could uh, test the radio and we could show it to you. If you have any questions or anything, just make sure to contact us or Retivis. I will answer and do our best. Uh, please click a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.